السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Welcome to another episode of My Teskia and today's question is the brother is saying that I left pornography before Ramadan but after Ramadan was done I returned to it what should I do? It is quite common that in Ramadan people you know before Ramadan starts they make these plans they really are you know very committed and then in Ramadan of course most of the shatin are locked so they have a lot of spiritual support and they feel good because everyone's doing the same thing they're fasting they're worshiping and it feels good yet after Ramadan as soon as the shatin come out boom a person falls back into their old habit this is very very common you shouldn't lose hope understand that the battle with pornography is an ongoing struggle it's a lifelong struggle that a person has to go through and um, some people can deal with it earlier than others while others continue to deal with it till the end of their life subhanallah the key here is never to give up no matter what happens continue the work that has to be done continue your process of detoxing of making sure you know you do the correct steps of making toba all the time um, there is no silver bullet when it comes to this addiction some people deal with it better than others other people not so good so most important thing is keep in mind right shaitan wants to mislead you into kufr and to shirk and that's why you don't want to fall in it losing hope and so on but continue the work again you don't want to feel like you're the only one this is something that's very common in terms of that it happens that people stop sins before ramadan and then they return back some people say, oh, because your tawbah is not uh, true or accepted or this and that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who decides that. There's a lot that can be said about that, whether your tawbah is accepted or not. What's your struggle? There are examples of, uh, in the time of Sahaba, عنه, certain, 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 certain Sahabas had certain things that were, you know, uh, were described in terms of uh, their, you know, sins or, and this is found. They never gave up. The Prophet ﷺ advised them. Some were punished. Some had to, you know, repent uh, over and over again until they stopped. There was many very inspiring stories of Tawbah. We never give up, no matter what happens. Do not lose hope. لا تقنطوا من رحمة الله Because, see, if you're in this pattern of like, I don't, don't do it, I do it. I don't do it, I do it. I don't do it, I do it. And then you don't want the do it to win over the don't do it. Right? And that's going to happen when you lose hope. A lot of people we see. They stop practicing Islam because they say, there's no hope for me. Like, I'm a hypocrite. Why am I doing this? So indeed, you have to take action. You have to take accountability for what you are doing. But at the same time, do not give up. Keep coming for the support. Keep coming for the, the accountability partners, the support groups that we have, and all the, help, uh, the steps that we have to help you. Do not stop. A lot of people complain that they cannot get rid of the addiction, but they actually don't put in the work. And I, I spoke to the the ustaz in, uh, in our organization and they told me that a lot of people don't put in the work as they're supposed to do and then they expect to have results right so yes you will sin you'll fall um, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Prophet told us uh, in the hadith that the person will commit a sin or repent commit a sin repent commit a sin repent and Allah loves those who repent this is something that is going to happen. This is not a license for you to commit sin. It's just for you to understand that you cannot give up and you have to put in the work, inshallah.